beneath the Seattle skyline on Alki Beach. Some noticed the bright yellow rope, others spotted the bunches of flowers, then saw this. I'm, I'm kind of in a, in a state right now where I'm shocked that it's on the beach that I love and I've been here for over 40 years and this is what I'm seeing and it, and it just underscores how we all have to take care of our environment. First, the warning sign caught Randy Stone's eye. Then came the frustration. This is so sad. This should not be. Not with a place like Alki Beach where there's so many caring people. This is sad. The lifeless California sea lion is the fifth one found near West Seattle in the last six weeks. At least two of the sea lions died of gunshot wounds, according to NOAA. The agency is investigating all of the deaths. It's sad to hear that you know, maybe humans are causing it. It seemed like a really friendly animal. They're also known in these waters as a big competitor for fish. The male California sea lions migrate north in the winter to fill up on food. Julie Nugent Carney sees them on most mornings. When we're waiting for the water taxi, sometimes you'll just see their eyes peer up like they're curious about humans, but then they'll kind of swim away. Now along Alki, they want to understand why nearly a half dozen sea lions have washed ashore. It's really sad because I really enjoy seeing them or hearing them in the morning. And I am heartbroken, I'm just heartbroken, and I'm fighting back the tears. On a beach known for its beauty, this view is hard to take. In West Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News. The sea lions are covered under the Marine Mammal Protection Act. The penalty for killing one can be up to a year in prison and possibly a $25,000 fine. You can find more information on our website, king5.com.